Hi, I'm Nathan, an Applications Engineer from National Instruments. Over the past week I've been working on a project using the National Instruments MIDAC. If you don't know what that is, the MIDAC is a small USB data acquisition device which uses analog output, analog input, digital input and output, as well as having a 15 and 5 volt line. So th this device is primarily used by students. And on that note, um, my project is going to also be used primarily by students. It's called the My Aircraft Stability. And essentially what I've done is I've got myself a, a remote control aircraft and I've attached it to a potentiometer and I will be uh, measuring the voltage. Um, it's going to be used by uh, students doing aircraft engineering or um, flight mechanics. So let me show you this now. So this is my project, my aircraft stability. As you can see, I've got the, uh, the MIDAC, the uh, MIDAC proto board, as well as um, the variable resistor with the um, remote control aircraft mounted on it. Um, I, with the remote control for the aircraft, I have full control of its, of its uh, functions. Um, I can also control the rudder and the wings. I simply used a um, potential divider um, with the variable resistor in order to measure the voltage um, and make that relative to the angle at which the plane is moved. So let me show you my VI that I've used. So this is the uh, VI that I created um, for my aircraft stability. So it's essentially just a tab control uh, with these buttons to go between the tabs. Each slide e containing um, more information about aircraft stability in your... And uh, so these controls you can go backwards and forwards. So this is the main slide, um, and it's, it's got a voltage chart and a chart in degrees where the voltage has been converted. It's also got this uh, this dial, um, and if I um, change the angle of the plane, um, it gives me um, a different reading, um, showing the the degrees at which the plane is turned. Uh, so if I stop it, we'll move to the block diagram. So as you can see, it's just a tab con control um, using the shift registers to send the information of um, what the button press has been, whether that be the next button or the previous button. Um, sending that back to the back to the start um, to run through this, the different uh, cases within this case structure. Um, so this is the most important case, and essentially I've just used this DAC assistant. Um, to get the information from the MyDAC, um, had it in continuous samples, and I'm logging it to file as well. So we'll have a look at the file later. So, but um, for the moment, um, as you can see, I've just converted this um, voltage reading that you get from the MyDAC uh, into degrees, um, and shown it in all the different forms that you saw in the front panel. So let's just look at the log. As you can see, it's converted it straight into an Excel format, and this can now be read off Excel, um, and you can gather all the information from it um, and convert that into whatever form you you want, whether you want to keep it as a table or into a graph, for example. So I hope you enjoyed what I've done with my project, and thanks for listening.